I feel like spirit blocked something in the past, but now this is coming back. I feel like this is a person. It's a very specific message, so please don't take it if it's not yours. Or But I, I just feel it in my heart chakra, like, like y'all both love each other. <laughs> Maybe not all of you, but it's a general read, and I'm picking up on the general energy. I feel a lot of love in my heart chakra. You both love each other. The both of you love each other. This person loves you. This, this person always loved you, Aquarius. They always have. They always will. You know, they see you as their true love. Oh, this is strange. This is a strange read. Aquarius, you always have the weirdest read. <laughs> <laughs> Aquarius, you always have the uh, weirdest reads. Oh, I swear. to the channel, Starzy Zide here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your general read for September 2022. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below for those of you interested. And if you are wanting to support the channel, you can click the heart icon Underneath this video, whatever you leave me, I'm truly grateful for. And I just want to thank everyone for all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, views. I'm truly grateful for everyone here. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, goddesses, read for my Aquarians. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Alrighty, let's see here the dice. We have Gemini. Ooh, strong Gemini energy. Strong Gemini energy because you have Gemini, then you have number six. You could be a life path number six, but number six is the lovers. Then you have Uranus. So that's the star card. So the tarot cards that I'm seeing, I'm seeing the star card, um, the magician, the lovers, and then I'm seeing the lovers again. We're seeing the lovers twice because we have Gemini, which is the lovers, and then we have number six. Card number six is the lovers. Um, then you have Mercury, Mercury, and Uranus. Zodiac signs, Gemini, Gemini, and Aquarius. Yeah. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, very rebellious planet, um, also a planet of technology or someone that is very, um, can be very tech savvy, you could say. So let's see here what's going on. I feel like there's a brand new beginning in love. I feel like you're meeting someone. What do we have here? The witch's broom, clean up. Sweeping away negative situations, cleaning up your life, decluttering your mind, simplifying your life. Um, but I'm looking at that broom, and it looks like a witch's broom. So a witch could have been doing magic on you guys. Here, let's see. Or a witch is going to try to do magic on you guys in September. Delays. Oh, yeah. Somebody's trying to, you know, it came out in reverse. They both came out in reverse. You know what I feel? I feel like somebody is trying to, in September, somebody is going to try to stop your progress, your success, but it's not going to work. Like, you're blessed, you're divinely guided, divinely protected, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Okay, I'm, I'm saying it here, but somebody was doing magic in the past is what I'm saying. I do feel like for some of you, this was a family me member. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody's mom. Somebody's mom could have been doing spell work on them. Um, yeah, I'm hearing mom, sister, or there could have been, could have even been a friend. And for some of you, it could have been your twin flame that was doing spell work. I feel like, Aquarius, I feel like people were doing, all types of people were doing spell work on you. Definitely return back to sender. It's, it's an energy here of like all, all sorts of people doing different kinds of spell work to try to get a reaction out of you, to try to like... It, it, it was almost like control, controlling you. Definitely do return to senders. Times 10. Boredom. I feel like this is talking about your love life. Boundaries.
I f it's so strange. Why am I getting the serendipity? I feel like spirit blocked something in the past, but now this is coming back. I feel like this is a person. I feel like in the past, spirit blocked something from moving forward. And now it's like it's coming in. But, oh, this is strange. This is a strange read. Aquarius, you always have the weirdest read. <laughs> Aquarius, you always have the uh, weirdest reads, I swear. Uh, playfulness and abundance, okay. So spirit blocks something, right? In the past. Yeah, what is meant for you will be for you. Yeah, learning. You're going to you're going to learn in September why something didn't work out for you in the past. Okay, you're going to learn. Now I feel like taking the top card. Yeah, third party. Okay. Ghosting crystal ball. Okay. Yeah, so what I see here is there's abundance headed your way. Okay, your arrival to abundance is here, is coming. What I'm seeing is that there was a situation with someone in the past, and there was a third party, and that's why they ghosted you. This person that ghosted you, Aquarius, is coming back. They're coming back. But in the past, Spirit actually blocked that person from coming back towards you. Because I feel like that person wanted to come back towards you. And you didn't hear from them for months or maybe even years. You may have not um, heard from them in a long time. And it's actually because spirit blocked them. Spirit blocked them from coming towards you. It's because they had a third party energy. They had a witch. You know, they got they got involved with a, a bugaboo, a bugaboo witch. Okay, someone that was out here doing spell work on your person and doing spell work on you. And it's just absolutely crazy. So spirit blocked this person from coming towards you. They they blocked it. I see here in September, this individual that ghosted you, you know, they left. They, they didn't leave things clear with you. I see them coming back. Now, I feel like you're bored. You're over this whole situation. This situation is dry to you. Dusty, rusty, just really... Um, crusty, but not the good kind of crust. Like, I just feel like you're over the whole situation. I feel like it's been a long time, and you just don't want to deal with this. But Aquarius, what you have to understand is this person ran from this. There's so many reasons, but towards the end, I really feel like there was divine intervention, and I feel like Spirit blocked this for your protection, now, crystal ball and serendipity. So it's like you have a fortunate stroke of luck. You have a happy surprise headed your way. And for a lot of you, it's going to be reuniting with this person. You and this person are going to pick up where you left off in September. Divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprise, a fortunate stroke of luck. Of luck. But you see, I said love. This person loves you. They love you, Aquarius. Crystal ball events taking place in the future, inner knowing. Some of you could know deep in your heart, you and this person will reunite. You you know, it could have been like these last few weeks or last few months. You were like, I know, you know, me and so-and-so will reunite one day. We'll come back together. You know, we're star-crossed lovers. We are meant to be together. And it's showing it here. It's showing that you guys will get back together. This is a read... Um, it's a very specific message, so please don't take it if it's not yours, or if you don't, you know, you don't want anything to do with this individual, then that's fine. Um, but this is a read talking about an Aquarius that is going to reunite with a divine lover, somebody that ran from this connection, ghosted this connection, and eventually was blocked from spirit from pursuing this connection. Now it's like spirit is removing this block, and this person's about to come in, and you guys are about to be reunited. Yeah, I'm hearing this person is going to be homeless 
or they're going to be broke. They're not going to have anywhere to go. And it's going to be very, very fast. You guys are going to move in together very, very quickly. That may not happen in September. That may be more so, um, I'm hearing January, February-ish. For some of you, it could be that you guys move in right away. But yeah, I'm saying here a reunion, a coming together of you. And it almost feels like a twin flame. A twin flame or, or like, it's like a divine union. A divine union is coming together. Seven of Cups. Ace of Swords, the Sun. Yeah, Spirit's saying this is the truth. Spirit's saying this is the truth, whether you guys want to hear this or not. They're saying it's the truth. The Ace of Swords is all about the truth. The Sun is the biggest yes card in the Tarot. But the Seven of Cups there, I feel like you might be confused as to what to, what you wish to do. And Spirit's saying that's okay. Take your time. Don't, you know, just take your time. Take things nice and slow with this individual. But... It is showing a successful union. It is showing su a success if you were to get involved with this person. Eight of Pentacles crossing. I feel like... Okay, hold on. High Priestess, yeah. <sighs> a Page of Cups. This individual is coming back to you, Aquarius, empty-handed. Um... But it's like, I don't know if they want to tell you that or not because the Eight of Pentacles came out crossing. But it's like the Page of Cups and the High Priestess, it's almost like they feel guilty lying to you about that. It's like, it's almost like they want to be honest about everything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like their money, like something's happening with their money. Yeah, it's like Ten of Swords, it's a brutal ending. And I do feel like that is um, part of their karma for how they may have treated you in the past and for getting involved with a third party. But it is showing a reunion. Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Your money is going to be looking very, very good. You may be working a bit harder than usual. But yeah, yeah, Ten of Wands. You may be working a bit harder than usual. Um, I'm going to be honest. The first few months, some of you may have to carry this. Because this individual, they're struggling with their healing, or they're struggling with their money, or they're struggling with both. And because of that, some of you may opt to walk away. Justice is here. Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like the wait is over, but the question is, do you guys want this? This reunion, do you, do you, you know, that's the question. It basically comes all down to you. Do you want this reunion with this person? But knowing what you know, they're, they're not going to have a lot of money. There, there's something here about their money. And they still, there, there's like an emotional immaturity about them with the Page of Cups there. But I, I just feel it in my heart chakra, like, like y'all both love each other. <laughs> Maybe not all of you, but it's a general read, and I'm picking up on the general energy. I feel a lot of love in my heart chakra. You both love each other. The both of you love each other. This person loves you. This person always loved you, Aquarius. They always have. They always will. You know, they see you as their true love. They do. That's why number six came out on the dice. The lovers, they see you as their true love. They see you as the their one true love, like... You know, they, they can get involved with whoever they want. They could get married to whoever they want if they're in a marriage. But whenever they think of who their true love is, it's always you, Aquarius. It's always you. You are their one true love. They know it in their heart. They know it in their soul. 
and it's it looks like Spirit's gonna bring you guys back together. So let's get some final messages here with the pocket tarot, and then we'll close out the read. What else do you have to tell us? Final messages, Spirit, and the moon. Wow. Over the High Priestess, which has the full moon. Truly grateful for all of your guidance. Look at all these major arcanas. High Priestess, the moon, justice, the sun, justice. It's a very spiritual connection. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. If you are wanting this, it's going to take some work. It is going to take some work. Two of Wands in reverse, yeah. Yeah, there was a blockage in communication. There was a blockage. Spirit was blocking this person at one point from you. Yeah, look at that. The lovers. I can't make it up. There's the lovers, card number six. Divine lovers. You could have this person blocked, or this person could have blocked you, or the both of you could have blocked each other on different, uh, through, you know, different social medias, different numbers. Yeah, the chariot spirit saying yes. I feel like the two of wands in reverse is symbolizing this individual doesn't want any more separation between the two of you. They don't want any more separation. Because the two of wands can talk about being at a distance. Six of pentacles in reverse. They have no money. They're broke. Yeah, no. They're broke, Aquarius. That's the thing. They're broke. They have no money. They have nothing to give you. They lo they, they're they coming back to you, but they're coming back to you empty-handed. Yeah. Queen of cups. They are hoping that you can look past this and, um, you know, like while they figure out their situation, but yeah, they, they, they don't, they're coming back to you empty handed. Yeah. Ten of wands. They're willing to work hard though, but temperance is there. Your angels are watching over to both of you. They're watching over to both of you and they're, they, they, you know, they're saying, give it a try. Give it a try. Now, obviously, some of you, you're done and it's over. So do make that clear to this individual. I feel like that's not going to stop this person from chasing you, though. Um, but with tempers at the bottom, tempers is all about patience, balance. I feel like Spirit is saying, have patience with the situation. And to give it give it a try. You guys deserve another shot at this. You're both divine lovers. You're you're each other's mesh. I see it here. And you know, if it works out, fantastic. If it doesn't work out, well at least you guys gave it a try. But even Spirit is saying, you know, give it a shot. See where it goes. So that is your read, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.